Hello everyone. Now we will go for our second type of body, which is new body, and it is also called as kernel body. In the previous videos, we studied what is classic body, how to find classic body, how to implement classic body. Now we will learn the new body or kernel body in detail. Now before we start. With kernel body or new body, we will discuss the one major difference between a classic body and new body. Because to start with kernel body, first thing we should understand how it is different from the classic body. And in the future, we have a topic also. What are the differences between a classic body and new body? But to start or to understand kernel body. we will go for first major difference between a classic body and new body if i am using the term new body or if i am using the term kernel body one and the same thing so i will go to sc 18 in transaction code you all know this transaction code is for body definition how you identified the bodies or how you find the bodies you select the radio button body name you click on to f4 help there we find all bodies kernel bodies and classic bodies previously we saw the classic bodies suppose as of now i will go for all so that you can see both kernel bodies and classic bodies together suppose if i will go for all i will put the package name firstly i will put the package name of mm01 program otherwise you will get lots of things so in that package we have these many classic bodies and new bodies now what is the difference what is the difference between a classic body and new body if you see we have so many bodies in front of that there is no enhancement spot but we have so many bodies also in which we have enhancement spot in front of them so those bodies who has enhancement spot it means these all are your new bodies or kernel bodies the bodies which do not have a enhancement spot it means all those are classic bodies suppose these two bodies there is no enhancement spot it means these are classic bodies this body we have enhancement spot it means it is new body this body is classic body and if you remember we implemented this body we implemented the classic body definition now this body this body has a enhancement spot it means it is your new body or kernel body now the question comes we are talking about enhancement spot enhancement spot what is enhancement spot enhancement spot is a container is a container for the kernel bodies or new bodies in one enhancement spot we can have multiple new bodies or kernel bodies see classic bodies are independent bodies they are not in any container but when sap gave the concept of new bodies or kernel bodies sap put them into one enhancement spot so enhancement spot is a container for the new bodies or kernel bodies if you remember in case of explicit enhancements we also studied enhancement spot at that time enhancement spot is the container for the enhancement point and enhancement section here here enhancement spot is a container for the new body definitions or we can say kernel body definitions now if we will go for more clarity i will simply choose the radio button kernel body i will go for okay and you can see whatever the kernel or new bodies are there we have the enhancement spot so this enhancement spot 
for this new body this is the container for this new body this is the container so enhancement spot is a container for the kernel bodies or new bodies now if i will go for classic bodies only you can see in case of classic bodies there is no enhancement spot because to understand the new bodies or kernel bodies you should understand the first major difference between classic body and new bodies now what we will do we will discuss a requirement then we will learn how to find a new body or kernel body then we will implement a kernel body or new body so i will go for the requirement first i will go to mm01 transaction code i will pass industry sector i will pass material type i'll press enter i will choose basic data one now we will give the description and we will give unit of measurement okay now what customer is saying i do not require additional data i do not require organization level these two buttons are of no use of me so i do not require these two buttons whenever i am going inside the mm01 screen these two buttons are confusing for me i do not require these two buttons it means in sap transaction code you have to go for your you have to go for, for customer specific changes so your answer should be never never blindly say yes because you should check the feasibility first if customer is asking something into sap transaction codes your answer should be you should check the feasibility first do you have a provision or not this requirement we will achieve through through kernel body or new body now to start with this i will go for a point because this point will help us you all know we have four parts of gui status menu bar function keys title bar and this is your application tool bar it means we have to hide the buttons in the application tool bar this additional data and organization level why i am discussing this because this will help us to identify the respective new body or kernel body in the next video we will learn how to find a new body or kernel body that's it in this video thank you